who the fuck is this Captain Mac guy? He's why is why is he live streaming? He hasn't live streamed in like four years. The fuck is going on here? Who is this fucking stupid hair guy? What's going on here? It's fucking weird. Well, anyway, thanks for watching the live stream. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, here I am. I'm live streaming. I still do that um, occasionally. Uh, <laughs> I could be reading Punk Hazard, but I'm watching some guy. Yeah, well, I, I, I can't even jokingly say I'm better than One Piece. <laughs> I can't. It's not with. It's not possible for me to do that. Um, uh, yeah, sorry I haven't been live streaming. The truth of the matter is, I just haven't fucking felt like playing any video games. I've been just like, and I don't really do much else on stream. And, like, I thought about doing some drawing live streams, but like, I'm so out of practice that I'm like super nervous to do that. So I just, I just didn't fucking stream. But like, I really want to stream because I like streaming. But, I, but then like, I, I come home and I sit in my stupid chair and I look at them, my, my fucking, how many games do I have? I don't know. You can't tell these. I, I I looked at my 751 games and I was like, I don't want to play any of these fucking games. So I just I ah I was I was sitting there like I want I want to do live stream. I, I want I want to like hang out with everybody and 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 make funny jokes and stuff. But I fucking I I didn't want to play anything. I hate video games. Video games are stupid. So today I was like, I really want to live stream. I don't know what to play. Fall on. On all reliable, gonna play some stupid Monster Hunter. Let's go. It's actually like I miss watching Max stream. I miss streaming. God damn it. But get this: take people's vids, watch them, and add some comrade boom content. I can't tell you. I, I watch these videos. Um, I watch this guy. His name is his, his name is Platinum Wow. He makes a uh, World of Warcraft lore videos. Uh, World of Warcraft has interesting lore. Not gonna lie to you about that. So I, I like to watch his videos, and every time I watch one of his videos, like within the next couple of days, I'll get a fucking video in my recommendation that is Asmon Gold reacting to his videos. He watches every single one and reacts to them. I don't want to watch that. I saw the video myself. Why do I want to watch him watch it? I don't understand. Uh. You don't have to play games to stream, I think. I don't you, you might not have not have been here when I said my grade, but like I was thinking about like other things I could do on stream and I was like, I, I could do a drawing live stream, but I'm so out of practice that I'm just I don't I don't I don't feel confident to do it. And you know what? Like I've started to get the itch a little bit recently. I've been doing a little doodling a little bit at work, but I still don't I like it, it looks terrible. It's not even good, it's it's bad compared to the bad I was doing before. So I was like, uh, uh, as regards entire content is him reacting to stuff. It's like half of his content. He also plays video games sometimes, but like, God, God, I don't want to watch fucking reaction videos. Stop recommending them to me. It's fucking annoying. And like, it's one of those things where if I watch one they're it, just out of curiosity, like they're all going to be recommended to me nonstop. And I, I don't want that. I don't want that. Why does YouTube push some channels so much and others not at all? It's it's content it's 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 channels that make the same shit over and over that get recommended the most. That's what I've noticed. You could be assembling a sandwich on stream and I'd be overjoyed. See, I know you listen, I know you guys want Captain's Kitchen back, and I want it back too. I don't want to edit it because I'm fucking lazy and, and I'm 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 tired of those I'm tired of those low effort low editing fucking videos even if i can add in music and 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 do the the the, the whatever whatever i i don't i don't want to make i don't want to i don't want to sift through that footage it sucks it's not fun at all <laughs> so i like i want to live stream it i want to live stream captain's kitchen but there's no good way for me to do it you can't you can't know how much time i've i've thought about like fucking Streaming cooking. I want to do it so bad, but I can't think of a good way to do it. Hi, Spide. What's up? Nice of you to join us. I'm, 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 I'm sitting here complaining about how I don't want to play video games because I'm, I'm, I, I don't, I don't have any games that I, that I want to fucking play right now. So I'm talking about other shit I could be streaming. Uh, YouTube likes consistency if it means consistent low fruit. That's true. <laughs> do the poppin' cooking on stream? What is poppin'? Are you talking about like the little like, like, like kit things? Where you make like a little candies or something. Like just like sit at my desk and do that. That's what you want. <laughs> I 
I don't think he ever made the cake. It was for the it was for 1,000 subscribers. That you wanted the cake for 1,000 subscribers. We're about to hit 1,500, so I could just pretend it's that instead. It's. <sighs> It's not that I don't want to make Captain's Kitchen. I love Captain's Kitchen. I, it's, I, I love doing it. But, like, just, you know, my, my, my days of going and watching through hours of footage of myself doing stuff to find the good stuff to make videos, it's just, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm tired of it. I like, I like making my video essays. Those are, they, 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 they take so much, they take so much work. So much work. They take so much work, and they're so much more fun to do. Easy Bake Oven Stream? <laughs> That'd be interesting. That would be interesting. I just need a switcher! I just need a fucking switcher. If I could get a switcher, I could do everything you guys want me to do. I could. I just need a switcher, but they're so expensive. A basic one that has four inputs costs $500. I just want, I want a switcher so bad. I could do so much fun stuff on stream if I had a switcher, but I just, I. <laughs> oh. 1500 is very pock. It's been crushing it. It's been crushing it. That video has gotten 5,000 views in the last two days. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why. It's gotten. I don't know why. I don't. I, I, I'm not going to complain about it. It was pretty fucking good. Spide, how are you uh, uh, doing? I, 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 have you. Have you have you beat that one boss? I swear I like I like check in on your vods to see if you're to see where you're at in Bloodborne and you're you're always on that one boss. Have you managed to beat that one boss yet? <laughs> no. So guys, uh, Spide. I don't know if you, I don't know if you you guys have caught Spide stuff yet. You should go check out Spide. She streams Bloodborne. They're really fun. I can't watch them unfortunately because she's in spoiler territory for me. But she's doing a run of Bloodborne where she doesn't level up, which is insanity. Because I'm having I, I I like Bloodborne is hard enough with leveling up, but she's doing it without leveling up. So for the past like eight live streams, she's been fighting one boss. <laughs> and <laughs> what what an what an absolutely insane person! What an absolutely insane person! I think three years of subs covers like a fifth of that. A fifth of what? The five hundred dollars. It sucks. It really sucks. It sucks that it's so expensive. I want it so bad. Play, board so you, play, board so you, play Bloodborne so you can watch my pain. I'm playing Bloodborne tomorrow and I'm going into the Old Hunters DLC. So I should be able to like watch again soon because I, I think that's where you're at. I'm not positive. I'm guessing that's where that boss is from. Um, haven't been on Twitch recently, but I followed on Twitter. Then again, I forgot I have that too. I go on Twitter very rarely. I've been using Twitter more more recently, but still not a lot at all. It's DLC. Yeah. So I, I got up to the final boss. I'm ready to fight the final boss. So I'm fighting. I'm doing the DLC before I fight the final final boss. Oh, an optional boss in the DLC. Can I? Can you guys see it on the floor down there? No, you can't. Maybe if I zoom out the camera. I got Luna a harness because I'm going to try to train her to walk on a, on a leash. And it's very cute. Oh, it's on the floor right now. Hang on. See that? Look at how little it is. Look at how little it is. So I got I got Luna har harness so I can train her to walk on a leash, and um, I, I I got it today and I put it on her just to check if the size was good. <laughs> she was it's good it's good size but it looks so funny the way that she was walking. It looks so funny. So I'm leaving it out for her to get used to, but then I'm gonna try to get her. Oh, Spy, you haven't seen my cat yet, have you? So it's difficult to use if you're not either pathetically inoffensive or political. Being a streamer. There's actually a lot to see on Twitter, especially now that I'm actually making Twitter friends like Spide and like um, uh, and like Singa. But I just don't go on Twitter much. It is Frankie colored. You guys know that's like like pink and that color are my favorite color. My controller is Frankie colored. <laughs> Let me grab Luna, uh, Spide. I think she's just sitting in the window. I don't I don't feel bad uh, 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 disturbing her from that. Maybe not. I don't know where she is. Okay. 
She was hiding under my bed. She, she started hiding because I started screaming, hi, you look really annoyed at me right now. She doesn't like being held. She's really bothered by this. Oh my goodness, Luna. Don't you know I'd get so many more views if you hung out on stream more? Don't you want this family to make it? What a baby. But she's tiny. Her harness is the small size. After seeing the cats in the cat cafe, I realized she, she's so small. She's so small. I don't know why she's so little. It's probably because she doesn't fucking eat. Pretty super, if you ask me. I love this controller. This controller was like, they released this color and I wanted it, but it was like controllers are so expensive and I didn't get it. And then like this controller, like they didn't restock it. They didn't do this controller again. So I never ended up buying it. And then like one day I was at a Target and like I saw it. I saw this controller in this color and they were like, it's a new color. And obviously it's not, but I bought it right away because I was like, I'm not missing this fucking controller again. <laughs> Ugh. Pine green. I don't think I've seen that one before. Pretty pog. Oh, anyway, I should start the game now. This isn't a fucking just chatting live stream. I don't do that because I'm not an interesting person, but. Oh, that's not supposed to be up there. <laughs> no, stop moving stuff you're not supposed to, OBS. Why was that up there? I don't, I don't know what's going on there. It's green and white. That's pretty cool. Is it like, uh, is it, is it like my, is it like the purple accents are white? Cause that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty epic. Why'd my camera do the funky color thing? What was that? That's very cool, uh, Spide. That's, that's a good color combo. Sometimes I remember the coins you showed and I'm like, man, you really could show me the corners of your room and I'd be like, wow, tell me more. <laughs> my coin collection is cool though. I have some cool coins. You got y'all want square coins? I got square coins, goddammit. Spy, do you play Monster Hunter? If you like the soul stuff, you should definitely play Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is like it's good shit. I do not. You should play Monster Hunter. I do have a coin collection. I collect lots of coins. So so the, the coin that Mike Rive is referring to in particular, this is an Australian coin. Nope, this is a yen. I don't know where the Australian coin went. This is a yen sitting here. Let me see if I can find the, the Australian coin really quick. I, I, won't, I won't delay playing Monster Hunter for much longer. Uh, my boss, my old boss, who was from Australia, gave me a, an Australian dollar coin, and it's awesome. And it has like four kangaroos on it. I'll be right back. It's probably my favorite one. If only Green was here to tell us funny, embarrassing stories while Mac is away. I can't trust him with doing that anymore. Not after the, after the scarf story incident. I'm always worried with Japanese games that it'll be too R JRPG for me, lol. Oh, you'll you'll watch this game and you'll think it's right up your alley. It's so Monster Hunt or Dark Souls E. So here's the front side of the coin. I believe that's Queen Elizabeth, but then on the back side, it's just a bunch of fucking kangaroos. Wait for the camera to focus up. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? It's just a bunch of fucking kangaroos. Uh, <laughs> uh, I grabbed a couple while I was at it. I have, um, I don't know whether this is a loony or a toonie, but I have that from your homeland, uh, Scorpion. Uh, and then I have a couple of, uh, of, of, uh, 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 square coins. This one's from Aruba. It's very, like, modern in its design. It's really cool looking. And then, which one's this one from? The Bahamas. Bahamas. Square coins are pretty pog. Come on, focus up, goddammit. I don't want to zoom this camera in. I'm lazy. I'm not going to reach up there. Don't make me reach up there, goddammit. What is it focusing on right now? Can you just... Bro. Focus on the coin. There we go. So, yeah. I have some, I have some coins. I'm a bit of a coin boy doing what coin boys do. I applied to a stream team a friend of mine made and I hope I get in. That's pretty cool. 
That's pretty cool. You'll have to let me know how that goes. Cameras like your face, I guess. I don't fucking know. There's nothing to see there. The $2 coin that I have no idea why it exists. Oh, shit. Why is it lagging so much? Hang I fixed my RAM, guys. That's not the issue anymore. Why is it? It was fine a second ago. What just happened? Hang on. Oh, I wasn't in the game. That would explain that. I had I had I had gone out to OBS or something. I don't know which is that was that. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, to be fair, like there's no real reason for the penny to exist here in America. Like, did did you know you guys who, who aren't American might not know this. Um, uh, 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 the, the penny is actually, is actually, uh, uh, worth less than the materials made to create it or used to create it. The amount of copper needed to create a penny is more than one cent. <laughs> All right. What do we got available? Tigrex, Brachidios would be fun. Celia or, or Valkana, never bad. Everybody likes to heart fight, 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 hard stuff. I don't want to fund anything hard right now. I could do. I could do a Zenoger. I could fight a Zenoger. Let's go. Let's go, Zenoger. Remember that monster you never beat, Fatalis. You want to fight Fate Fatalis today, Scorpion? You got. You got time to do that. I'd fight Fatalis today. Got to do this Zenoger first. But did I eat? I didn't eat. I watched a video about about that you should get rid of the penny it's something they've talked about for a long time it's useless with inflation like we no one pays with anything with pennies no one, no one rounds up with pennies ever i wish the paper dollars were uh, laminated yeah they feel cheap they feel like they, they they're gonna fall apart they don't they're hardy as hell but they feel cheap they shouldn't do one cent coins anymore it doesn't really make sense frankie has round ears does he I don't think that was Frankie you were seeing. I think that was uh, the Chef Palico because Frankie should have a... Yeah, he has a Wiggler head on. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Where did he go? Look at this little guy. <laughs> but how are you going to do our boy Lincoln dirty like that? He's on the $5 bill too. He's not going to miss anything. <laughs> it's not like we're taking anything away from him. He's still on another form of currency that's actually worth its materials. Oh, where is this stinky mon monster? How do I get to the map again? I haven't played Monster Hunter World in a hot sec. Is this guy fighting? It looks like he's fighting. I'm going to go in his general direction. Implying paper is worth shit. I mean, it's not worth anything, but like the implied value is still more than the materials made to create it. Like that's that's the problem with the penny. It costs more to create a penny than to have it in circulation, <laughs> which is absurd. All these fucking Nargakuga. I don't I'm not hunting for Nargakuga right now. Oh, this guy's palco is called Little Green. You want to you want a green on the on the on the live stream? Is that what you said, my, uh, uh, Scorpion? Well, he's here. Just a little one. I also read they tried introducing $1 coins and Americans really hated that. Yeah, it didn't last long. They're hard to find. They're pretty rare. I have a bunch of them. Because they're not, like, too super rare, but... Currencies... Well, I mean, you know, money is stupid. We should just... We should just, uh, pay each other in hugs and kisses. Eyes and over. Okay, you're gonna have to give me a hot sec to get re reused to Monster Hunter because I haven't touched it in a bit. So if I suck, that's uh, that's why, and that's gonna be my excuse for the rest of the live stream. I rolled kind of into that. That was Dumbo. Ooh. I would enjoy that hugs and kisses currency. I think it makes sense. You know, if Biden wants the the re-election when the time comes, I think that's how he's gonna land it. I'm getting eated right now. I'm probably gonna die here in a hot sec. At this rate. Now we're good. Look at this mad boy. Quit shaking the damn lily pads. The longer the hug. <laughs> to buy a car, you gotta give like a 10 minute hug. I think that'd be fucking great.
Except for, like, if the car salesman is, like, some sweaty old dude, then it wouldn't be so great, I guess, but... So, um, Monster Hunter Spide is basically if you took Dark Souls combat and had every enemy be a boss. And also, the battles last, like, 20 minutes. Unless you're really good. Um, and also, every weapon plays completely different, so it, there's a lot to there's a lot to do in this game. Who you going over there, huh? What are you going to do over there? Kermit the Frog to be the U.S. president? What kind of policies would he enact? Puppet rights? The right to not have a, a human's hand in your ass? Monster Hunter does have cute cats too. You have a little cat partner. My name is mine. Mine's is named Frankie. He's a good boy. He has a tool that he attacks monsters with that pulls uh, parts off of them that are worth money so I can sell them. Okay, I think Anzanath is going to run out of here for a hot sec. Bye, Anzanath! I prefer to think that Kermit is just a mad nihilist and wouldn't actually be a very good president because he just doesn't give a shit. Oh shit! I didn't expect him to jump that far, to be honest with you. Oh no. Oh, I walked into a sleep toad. Oh wait, he did too. We're good. Tingus! Tingus hit me! Tingus! Thanks, dog. Don't touch him. Let me let me get this one. Unless you got bombs, dude. Got him. Why is Anzanath back? Get, get out of here, stinky! I feel like he is meant to have a kind heart, so I can team up in the quality of life for peeps. You know, that's probably the intended personality of Kermit. But there is the dark history. Listen, presidents don't do anything. They just take the heat for the things that Congress does. That's, that's their actual job. I don't know why I stopped to tr fucking collect from bone piles. I don't need any bones. I don't... I don't know what the motivation behind that decision was. I, I, I'm just, I'm in another plane of existence right now. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit sleepy. God, I didn't even get to tell you guys about how, how shitty my day was today. So on my way to, on my way to work today, I, I accidentally ran over a skunk. And I felt fucking awful. I've never hit an animal with my car before. I felt fucking terrible. And then worse yet, because it was a fucking skunk. My car smells terrible now. I felt awful. Like I like it, it was, you know, you know me. I go to work at five in the morning. It was too dark. I didn't see the little bugger till it was too late. I tried to swerve to avoid him, but it did not work. And I just like I, like I had this sinking feeling in my heart. I felt terrible. And now my car smells terrible. <laughs> The gatherer instincts took over with the bones? I guess so. I don't know. And then, and then, I got home, and as I was taking off my pants to put my sweatpants on, you know, uh, 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 I, I lifted up my leg so I could get my pant leg off, and guess what? Luna decides that underneath my leg is a great place to walk, and I step on her, crushing her underneath my leg. So I felt terrible about that, too! Ah, oh, it sucked. I was I was just like this today kind of blows and like work was rough too. work was there was there was a whole situation at work half of our coolers uh, Just decided like I'm gonna not work today So there was like my freezer was full of cheese that they were trying to make sure it didn't go bad <laughs> It was just like but like the work stuff doesn't bother me nearly as much as, as running over a skunk and stepping on my cat I didn't abuse the animals. All of it was it was it was animal slaughter. No, that, that sounds worse. You know what I mean though? Like manslaughter is like unintentional murder. That's what it was. It was unintentional abuse. Oh. oh I mounted that big boy. I don't know if it helps with my day was trash too. It does knowing that someone else is suffering with me. I shouldn't have charged just now. I should have gone for a discharge and then charged after this. It's fine, it doesn't matter. We're gonna kill him either way, I don't fucking, who cares. 
Look at this big stinky. You ready to have your horns discharged upon? I shouldn't go for his head. There's there's a hammer here, but oh, f fuck it. Who cares? Nihilistic monster hunter after crushing my cat underneath my feet. God, this ogre is so much fun to hunt, though. He's just such an active monster. He moves so much. Break the hammer, you're a charge blade. You, you use your, your ego as massive. I didn't say my ego wasn't massive. I just said that I shouldn't target the head. <laughs> but hey, maybe you're right. I am going to do more damage than the hammer anyway, after all. Because I am a charge blade. At least I'm not a dirty longsword interrupting everybody's attacks. You feel me? Trying to cut off this ra rambunctious lad's tail. It shouldn't be too hard. Maybe the planets are wonkily aligning. To, what, to give all Captain Mac involved people bad days? I don't think I like that timeline. I felt so, I like I can't express, I don't feel like I can properly express how bad I felt about that skunk. Like I've never hit an animal with my car. And I, every time I pass like, dead animals in the road it just like it hurts my heart it hurts me so much and then like i i hit one with my own car and i was just like oh oh it was horrible it felt awful so i'm with the dinosaur that's causing trouble this entire time so that's another monster entirely named anjanath so uh monster hunter world takes place or, or uses open world maps and there's usually three monsters in a world at the time right now we have zenogre uh, Anjanath and Nargakuga. They all just kind of wander around. I'm sure you've already noticed, like, Zenogre sometimes just runs away instead of continuing to fight you. The game might have just crashed. I don't know why it just froze. Actually, my whole computer just froze. I don't know if you guys can still hear me. I think this, I think the stream just crashed. I don't know. Oh, nope. Nope, no, 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 no. We seem to be okay. We seem to be okay. Everything okay? Can you guys hear me at all just now? I don't know what just happened. My whole computer froze. OBS froze. I couldn't move my mouse. I don't know what just happened, but it seems to be good now. Um, so anyway, back to what I was talking about. So all the monsters kind of wander around and like sometimes they walk into your fights. And they'll the monsters will fight the hunters, but they'll also fight other monsters, which is what Anjanath has been up to today. He's been just fucking with uh, Zenogre. Um, and that's that's basically it. Like, Anjanath's just kind of existing, and he keeps getting in the way of our fights as a result. But he seems to have walked off for the time being. I, 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 I have no idea what just happened just now. I don't think I've ever had that happen in the middle of a live stream. My computer just upright freezing. Woo! Not today. Ouchie. That time did that time you did hit me. Ah, I feel his tail is so close to dead. Yet it will not fall off. I should probably heal. There's a I mean there's a, there's a fucking health booster close enough. I don't know. And that guy just healed, so we're good. Woo! No! Oh, okay. I gotta stop sucking for a hot sec, boys. Kind of having some performance issues in general. I've been needing to upgrade my computer a bit, but I'm really, I'm really just trying to hold out on getting one of those 30 series graphic cards, and it's just not happening. But I'm not willing to like go down to a 20 because I'll just have update outdated equipment as soon as I get it, and it's like ah, puppy just want good graphics card. So, no, the monsters aren't exactly bad. Uh, the lore of the game is that monsters are kind of a danger to the ecosystem, and so you as hunters kind of act as population control. The reality is that you just kill anything that walks. Um, some monsters are like an actual threat, like the, the antagonist of this game, uh, Nergigante, like basically eats other monsters. Um, but then there's other monsters, like a lot of the Elder Dragons, who are a problem for the ecosystem. 
they just kind of chill out. Like, even when even when you find them before actually fighting them, like, if you don't attack them, they don't bother you. They just kind of hang out until you attack them. But, like, yeah, like, when monsters wander in on other monsters' fights, they seem to more frequently attack the other monsters than you. Like, Anjanath, this whole fight, has been attacking Zenogre, not us. But it depends on the monster. Some of them are really aggressive. Odo Garon will attack you on sight. I think Nagakuga will as well. Zenogre might as well. This guy just fucking fainted, came back, fainted again. The main bad guy is bad because he kills monsters. I, listen, I'm not gonna try to. It's environmental stuff. They come up with weak. They come up with, with weak reasons, but they're reasons nonetheless. They are reasons, just not strong ones. Listen, this game isn't known for 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 a story. It's known for gameplay. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh! Ouchie. Oh, come on. Don't... Don't shout when I'm trying to heal, dog. That's not cool at all. There's a part around here. So oh, it's a Kelby material. I don't need Kelby material. Sometimes they just sleep. Like, sometimes they just sleep and Mac disturbs them, like, knock, knock, here's death door. Listen, someone, sometimes, someone's got to bomb them awake, you know, and I'm just here to provide that. Kind of have no reason to kill them. It's all for the purpose to kill the main bag monster. No, it's popu- that's the lore, it's population control. They're, they're a danger to the environment. They're apex predators. You know, nothing else can live if they're killing everything, like I do. Listen, you're asking too much. This game isn't about... Dark, maybe, you know, Dark Souls is more about gameplay than it is story, but Dark Souls does have a really deep lore, you know? There's a lot to learn. I don't know why I'm in gathering mode again. <laughs> this game, not so much. This game's kind of like, yeah, just have fun killing shit. I don't care. I, he's going to kill me if I stay in this corner. He's really fucking trying. Can you just let me out of the corner so I can heal, please? Let's talk, Zenogre. Let's talk this out. Why has there always got to be a fight? We aren't the baddies, we're the good, we're, we're helping humans survive. Listen, monsters are really dangerous and they exist out in the wildlife, okay? So hunters exist to kill them so regular people can travel the lands freely. There, that works, doesn't it? You do take on jobs from like, from like villagers and stuff who are like, I can't fucking get my crops with this, with this Nargakuga hanging around. So there you go. Yeah, exactly. They're invasive species. It's like killing deer, you know? Deer are, deer are pests, technically speaking. That's why hunters hunt them so much. I don't really support it either way, but... Sometimes you don't need a reason. Sometimes you just want to kill shit. And, and, and what? That makes me a serial killer? Your societal definitions. I'm really, I'm really fucking sucking during this hunt. <laughs> if you put wolves in, oh no! I did. I shouldn't have looked at chat. <laughs> Hear a bagpipe? I think, yeah, Tingus switched to a hunting horn probably because they keep fucking dying. They're probably just like, ah, I'll just support. It's cool. If you put wolves in a forest, you don't have to shoot deer, actually. Yeah, I mean, you have to be careful about that, though, because there's there's whole situations where, like, there's, like, then the werewolves, werewolves, then the wolves breed too much, and then you got too many wolves on your hands, and then there's no deer left, and all the wolves die out because there's nothing to eat, so it's kind of fucked up either way. I pressed the wrong button. What am I doing? Oh, there's a fucking wedge meter right there. Right there. I don't know how to play this game. Oh, come on! I love when you just don't latch onto the wall. Come on! <sighs> Y'all got me agitated. I 
And then that, like, there's different, all the weapons are, are, are have different play styles. So, like, the two guys on my team, I, I have a charge blade, which, as you've seen, is like a sword and shield that transforms into an axe. There's uh, a, a guy playing the hunting horn. Hunting horn is basically a support weapon. Like, you can deal damage with it, but it plays songs so that you can, like, buff your teammates. Really not viable for solo play, but people do it anyway sometimes. Um... And then there's um, and then the other guy's using a hammer, which just deals a lot of blunt damage. It's great for knocking opponents or knocking monsters on their ass, though it's unable to cut uh, parts like tails off of monsters, which is what I've been trying to do this whole hunt. How did that hit? Come on. You kind of suck at this game. I didn't say I was good at it. <laughs> oh, okay. why? Why you gotta be like that, Zeno Gear? Carnivores apparently taste bad generally. I think humans would probably taste terrible. Especially with all the shit we put into our bodies. Like, we don't take care of ourselves at all, at all. Come on, hit it. Oh, I missed it. I shouldn't have attacked from that angle. That was Dumbo moves anyway. Humans taste like pork. That's what I've heard from cannibals, but. <laughs> pork and chicken kind of taste the same. I don't know. I'm not a big white meat eater because I'm a fucking dirty American. I like my red meat and I like it. I like it. I like it raw. I eat, I eat raw meat because it makes me more of a man. <laughs> I don't like knowing that fact. I don't think any of us like knowing that uh, people have eaten other people, but you know, sometimes people do weird shit. Not do they stinky? Oh! I should probably get onto his tail and weaken it if I want to cut it off, but I feel like. I don't, I don't feel like it. Oh shit, I just tried to use the wire bug from uh, from Monster Hunter Rise. <laughs> it really gets ingrained into your system when you play it for a bit. It's just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Ah, I broke your damn claw, you jackass! <laughs> I think, I don't, I thought his claw was already broken, but I was the only one attacking him just now, so... Something I did broke something. How do you cook your steak? Uh, I prefer rare, but I usually cook it closer to medium rare just to be safe, that I don't like fuck up the temperature. Cause I'm I'm far too lazy to pull out a thermometer and just measure it. At restaurants, I always order medium rare because I'm afraid that they're gonna fuck it up because I don't trust them. <laughs> but I guess ultimately it ends up being medium rare like 95% of the time. But I like rare best. Woo! Oh, he went further than I thought he was going to go. It's okay. I think there's a bug around here. And if there isn't, I'm not that low on health. There he is. Hey, bigger wasp. Let's talk. Get away from me, Denogra. I'm trying to heal. Not cool, dude. All right. I'm going to go ahead and power... Power acts it up, and hopefully they'll knock them over with time for me to utilize that pretty well. I, I hate this from... Ooh, hang on. I can't focus on chat right now. There's a there's a knocked over Zenogre in my sights. Oh, I think he's a little tired out. No, he's not. Well, that's fine. There's a part in the Song of Ice and Fire series... The people working at the wall are starving and burning bodies. Same a perspective character has a stomach all the smell while the bodies burn and then peeks at the thought. If you eat steak well done, you're ruining that what makes a piece of steak good, which is a fat marbling. True that. I mean, well done steak is a, basically a sin against man as far as I'm concerned. Americans hate me for this, but I go with whatever leaves no red on the inside. Dude, come on. <laughs> I got used to it because I because you had to in Cuba to not get sick. I mean, I guess that's a valid reason, but like... 
the red part to be the best taste. I can't stand, like, meat like that. It's like eating raw leather. Like, it gets to be, like, so tough. Owie. I like Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is pretty good. I watched the show. I have never read the books because I don't like reading. Um, because I, uh, have a low IQ. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, I did like the show. I never watched the last season. Everyone tells me don't not to watch it because it ruins everything, but <laughs> Woo! You missed me big stinky Oh, I missed you big stinky. I want my wire bug back makes things so much easier to close distances and keep up with the monster. Maybe I should just get over it. Played this game 700 hours without a damn wire bug. I can do it again. Oh, why did that hit me? I wanted so badly for it to not hit me. It's way better as a book. But I also don't watch the show beyond where the books are at. I've heard it's better as a book. I just, I'm not a, I, I, I really don't like reading your average. I love, like, I. It's. it's not, it's nothing to do with, like, I don't know. I just like, I don't think my, my imagination is like too active when it comes to reading books that like, I try to like picture everything that's happening. And as soon as like a sentence ruins my illusion of like whatever I'm imagining the scene to be, then I have to like go back and read the whole scene over again to try to understand it from like the proper perspective. And like, it, does, uh, it doesn't work for my brain. So I really like graphic novels um, and, and like comics and manga. Hey there, now we got the tail off. You don't have a tail anymore, you big stinky. What were you thinking? Um, because, you know, you can just have the artist depict for you what they want and still enjoy the, the, the quality of the writing. You can't get that in the show. I mean, I'm sure. Um, you know George R. R. Martin uh, uh, did a lot of the writing for, the, for Elden Ring, right? I assume you know about that. God, I'm so excited for that game. It looks like it's going to be great. There's no proper way to read. It just doesn't work for me. Like, I, I, I don't find it super engaging to begin with. And then, like, the whole, like, the way my imagination works with it just is no good. Now he's limping away. Get out of here, big stinky. Is he going to sleep right here? This is where we are. How did he not notice us standing over here? That's fine by me. I'll blow him up. Oh, I don't have long left on my shield charge here. We got to get going. I got to just go for it. It's fine if there's not a lot of bombs. Whoa! All right, now if I can charge my sword before... Ah, that fucking wore off right then. Shitty heckin'. Big stinky. I can't, ma I can't imagine living further north than I do right now. Sounds terrible. I did chop his tail off. I, I thought it he didn't need it anymore. It was a really long and girthy tail, you know. It was making me self-conscious, so... Thought it'd be better without it. So now you can see Zenogre just fought with Anjanath again, second time today. Now he's dead. Dead guy, cringe. Oh, look at this dead guy. Ew, he's so dead. After this tracking monster across the land and hacking it to pieces, he's finally put out of his misery. <laughs> no, not quite. Sometimes blowing them up isn't enough. I don't know why the game is running like ass, but yeah, like, I feel like if you like Monster Hunter, or if you feel like Dark Souls, you'd probably like Monster Hunter, but I also can't be certain. They are different in a lot of ways. It's just like, the combat is similar, but it's also very different. Like, you know, Dark Souls and Bloodborne are very, like, iframe heavy when it comes to, like, it's dodging. Monster Hunter, not so much. There are iframes in Monster Hunter, but you're much better off physically avoiding attacks. Although that's also made much easier by the size of the monsters. Um... It's, pre it's pretty easy to get an understanding of like where the swings are going to hit, and you can just roll right out of the way. 
compared to like dueling with the nameless king. You can't fucking physically avoid his attacks and do damage. That's fucking impossible. There's something we call yellow rice, but I don't know if you'll find a recipe for it easily. What about paella? Paella is great. I don't know if that's Cuban, but it uses yellow rice. And they're cutting them down thousands of cuts. <laughs> they have a lot of health! What can I say? How long did this hunt take? The timer might, might have already appeared and went away. I don't, I don't, I don't know. That was a long hunt. We kind of sucked, so it took a, while, a little lack, extra time, but, you know, it is what it is. I think, like, the fact that monsters' attacks are so telegraphed works in tandem with how large the attacks actually are. Like, it gives you the time to avoid it while still not being easy to avoid. Saffron rice? Saffron rice I don't think I've ever heard of. Unless you're fighting monkey. God, fuck raging. <laughs> uh, I don't think I could, I don't think I could fight raging with any uh, uh, weapon that doesn't have a shield. Unless, unless we're talking insect life, that might be okay because I could just stay in the air, but I, I don't know. I don't know. That's doubtful. He can, he can jump pretty high. Boogie! You haven't eaten a lot of food, I think. <laughs> what? Because I'm because I'm a picky eater. I haven't eaten a lot of food. I've eaten lots of food. I just don't like lots of food. <laughs> Listen, as far as I'm concerned, shaming me for being a picky eater is like shaming me for having a small penis. I can't help it. <laughs> it's out of my control. Good thing I have a massive horse cock, and that's just a metaphor, right? <laughs> Give me some love as yet, parts. I don't know. Uh, no more pee pee talk. Why not? What, what the heck, Mike Grave? You can't decide that. It's not fair. Luna update. There she is. Look at her. What are you doing, Stinky? Just sitting? Okay, good for you. I have nothing to contribute to PP talk. I feel excluded. Just, just, I don't know. I don't know. I like how like 95% of the time Luna's on camera, you really can't see anything because yeah, she's just a black little smudge on the screen. Oh, what else could I hunt? What other weapon do I feel like using? Could go insect play, that's always a good option. I could go my my gut sword, which is, it's just modded, but <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, you know, if Capcom won't give you what you want, you got to find it yourself. That's what I think. I get on, we fight Raging. If we're fighting Raging, I'm staying with my, um, charge blade. But yeah, if you want to play, let's go. Let's do it. Actually, you know what? I'll try fighting Ray Jang with the sword and shield. That'd be fine. I'm good with the sword and shield. My legendary bang. See, we can make more dick jokes with that one. Do one hunt. Okay. Do one hunt. I'll be on. The oh, after after I do one hunt. What do I want to hunt? Uh, I don't care. I'll just SOS flare. Uh, give me something, give me something quick to find. Jirotodus would be good. So would Puke. P I haven't done this quest apparently. I'll, I'll fight Puke Puke. Or I could capture a Tigrex, which I don't really want to do. But I do have a shield, so fuck it. Let's go. A 
I hinted at it, but I'll have a flat mate next month. I hope they, I hope they ended up, did their DND sheet end up giving you any information about whether or not they're a good person? <laughs> that was a very interesting conversation to, re, uh, to read through. How are you feeling about uh, uh, moving away from your parents for an extended period of time? Oh, I got some spam emails. Uh, little, little more YouTube comments. <laughs> the guy, the guy who, uh, who who said he disliked the video because of my hair, just left like a paragraph comment saying that he didn't actually dislike the video and. <laughs> And then he liked the video and uh, uh, didn't think I'd actually read the comment. <laughs> I think I won that fight. <laughs> Not that it was a fight at all, I just didn't take him seriously. Someone just send me their guild card right away. I'll kill you. Don't ever send me your guild card at the beginning of a hunt. I will murder you. No, I don't know where it is. It must have been a chat or something. Thanks, baby. I, don't, I think there's, yeah, there's two other people. There's there's two people in here right now. He really licked my balls. Yeah, he, he went ahead and licked my ass for, uh, for, uh, for how good my video was. I'm glad to move away. No more mom asking me a million questions. Oh my God, I don't miss that at all. <laughs> this guy, the dislike guy must have felt bad. I mean, like... It's weird, like, some people who comment on YouTube really don't seem to think that, like, the creator is going to read it. But, like, especially for a YouTube channel like mine, like, a smaller one, like, I read every comment. And then, like, I've heard about this from, like, like big YouTubers. Like, they'll respond sometimes and then people will just be like, oh, I didn't mean it. It's like, oh, now that I've seen it, you're going to pretend you didn't mean that shit? Don't fuck with me. But, um, it's, it's strange. People do weird things on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I love my mom, but just, she sometimes asks questions that I just like don't know how to answer and I just kind of got to be like, uh, and then she gets, and then she gets like frustrated with me cause she's like, you don't ever like talk, conversate with me. And it's like, mom, you don't ask me questions that, you know, have conversation potentially attached to them. I fucking hate Tiger X. Why did I accept this hunt? <laughs> I haven't even gotten hit by him. I'm already annoyed. <laughs> oh God. Ow. I'm scared of YouTube. Even on my Twitter, people write stuff where you can clearly tell they did not think it through. And I'm like, what am I supposed to say? Yeah, I don't. There's a lot of questions. There's a lot of people who leave comments along the lines of, "Thank you, Spy, by the way, for saying that you like my hair." Um, my, I, I have high enough confidence that it doesn't bother me when people like make fun of my hair, especially because like I've had my hair my entire life. I've heard people talk shit about it my entire life. I'm used to it. You cannot hurt my feelings by making fun of my hair. It doesn't work. But lots of people, like, feel the need to, like, comment, like, Oh, fuck this guy's hair. Oh, your hair's stupid. Uh, oh, fuck, whatever. And it's like, do you? Number one, do you think I've never heard this before? Number two, do you think I care? <laughs> it's like, do you really think I need to conform to your ideals so badly that you have to go take time out of your day to write a comment like this? Hey, we got the tail already. Sick. I don't understand it. People are, people are garbo about hair that stands out. It bothers me so they don't get to comment anymore. Yeah, I usually just block them, but sometimes I, I, I tell them Joe likes my hair <laughs> and just see how they'll respond to that. But, um, or I try to give a meme response. But, um, people are just weird about hair that stands out because, you know, people are weird about anything that doesn't, you know, st stay within the line, so to speak. My hair is extraordinarily strange, especially for someone of my skin color. And people don't like that. They don't. But you know what? I'm a fucking rocket, and I'm gonna love it, and I'm gonna do my best, and I'm gonna make my videos about whatever I want, and they can't stop me. My next video is gonna be a, a two hour long explanation of why Tigrex is a shitty monster to fight. <laughs> and they're gonna love it, goddammit!
Yeah, get knocked over, you big stinky. Yeah. They will love it. <laughs> uh, I will say I've made a lot of progress on a video idea recently, guys. I will say that. Um, but I'm, and I, like the worst part, this is the most frustrating part. I feel like I need to like be putting out a video soon because like that one video is just popping off. And like I have a video and it's such a good video idea. And I, there's so many like strong moments within the script and it's like, but I just can't figure out how to make the re all of it flow together. I can't figure out transitions. I can't figure out like, I'm struggling so much with the script, so much with the script. And like part of me is worried that like the fact that I'm struggling with it so much means it's gonna be a bad video because like I can't figure out how to do it and whatever. But like at the same time, I'm like the subject's really good and it'll 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 really work for the people who who saw my channel because my Berserk video because it's also about fucking Berserk and it's like it's so frustrating. But I've made really good progress over the past couple of days with my video. Um, figured out a lot of really really good parts and I'm excited to hopefully actually get this video figured out or eventually drop it. Who knows? For how much you talk about it, when is the One Piece video? I am, I think I've talked about this before on stream, but I am, part of me is afraid to make a One Piece video <laughs> for a number of reasons. Uh, not the least of which being the astounding amount of hate surrounding One Piece. I'd love to make a video talking about why One Piece is wonderful and like why people give it too much shit. I could make a three hour long video about why the anime is just a terrible adaptation and it doesn't represent what's good about the series. There's a lot of videos that I could make around One Piece, but I, like, there's a number of things that I'm afraid of. I don't like the idea of putting my ideas about One Piece out there, to be honest with you. And I, there's a reason for this. There's a reason for this, but it's a bit difficult to explain. I like liking One Piece. And I don't want to dislike One Piece. I'm very critical about a lot of things that I read these days, to the point where I find it difficult to find anything I do like. Uh, you know, there's, there's not a lot of things I find that I enjoy. I end up disliking most of what I read or, or consume. And I, and I feel that if I were older when I started One Piece, I might not have loved it as so much because I couldn't have gotten past, you know, the things that are rough about it in the beginning or the things that are rough about it in general. And so I intentionally do not look at One Piece terribly critically. I, I let my problems with it slide. I, I let issues that I have with it go because I like liking One Piece. I, I like getting super excited about every new chapter. I like getting ultra excited about every fight and every new power up and whatever else and all, all of these new moves and whatever and every every plot development. I love feeling that excitement so much and I don't want to lose that. And in order to do that, I have to not look at One Piece critically because at the end of the day, you know, One Piece is wonderfully well written, but it's not perfect. It isn't. So... You know, in order for me to make a One Piece video, I would have to approach it in a very biased way. And I don't think that would sit well with people who, you know, don't like that kind of thing. <laughs> One Piece would invite quite a huge audience. Not all of them will agree. That's, there's, there's, and there's, like, there's also the problem that a lot of people in the One Piece community are super religious about it. And it's like, if I made a One Piece video, I would be hard pressed to not compare One Piece to any other anime or manga because... In order to do so, I would either offend One Piece fans or I would offend the fans of anything else that don't like One Piece, you know? It's it's a tough situation. Um, I think I think when One Piece finishes, which it will eventually finish, it's getting very close. It's getting closer every day. Um, I think when One Piece finishes, I will make a video detailing my experience with it, my love for it, and just going through everything in depth. I don't care how long the video is, I will go through everything. But I don't, in, until then, I don't know if I'll ever make a video about One Piece. Because I want to love One Piece. I don't want to be judged for my takes on One Piece. I don't want to hear other people's interpretations of One Piece. Because I like liking One Piece at the end of the day. So that's that's my spiel on it. I uh, uh, There's a lot of things I could talk about with One Piece, but there's that part of me that's afraid to because of the potential reception to said video. Good or bad, or even just making me question things. I don't want to question things. I like like I like liking One Piece. I know what you're talking about, Spide, and I do agree with you. I think you can absolutely criticize something that you love, and I have. Um, uh, uh, like I just said, I fully acknowledge that One Piece is not perfect. There are a good number of flaws. There are. But, you know, I also know that uh, uh, Oda, the author of One Piece, interesting fellow, um, 
really doesn't take criticism, like, at all. He writes One Piece how he wants to for himself. He doesn't write it for his audience. He doesn't do things for his audience. He never has. He writes One Piece the way that he wants to and the way that he wants to enjoy it. So, like, you know, criticizing it will never make it change. Criticizing it will never make it better. I can criticize other bad series and impact the manga and anime industry in that way, but criticizing One Piece will never change anything about it. I could criticize, you know, the way he draws women because, you know, I don't think there's a single person out there anymore who, you know, is okay with the way that he draws women. But the fact of the matter is he knows people don't like the way he draws women. He likes the way he draws women, so he keeps doing it. And at the end of the day, I respect that. I might not respect the way that he draws women, but I respect the fact that he sticks to his guns like that. And he always has. One, one, of, the, one of the things that I really... That really had an impression on me when it came to uh, Oda talking about One Piece was in a really early uh, question and answer corner that he did. Um... Someone asked him why he doesn't take suggestions for devil fruit powers. A lot of authors take suggestions or take ideas about like powers they could add into their manga and anime. The author of My Hero Academia has had multiple characters that exist in, uh, in, 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 in important parts of the story that were fan created. Oda doesn't do any of that and never has. And the reason that he gave for it is because th th the way he put it, is that he doesn't want ideas from other people because he said if, if, if One Piece succeeds, he wants it to succeed because of what he did. If One Piece fails, it'll fail because of what he did. The way that he approaches uh, uh, One Piece is that like whether it succeeds or it fails, it's all his fault. It's always going to be on him. And I have a lot of respect for that. It's inf influenced a lot of how I go about content creation. Uh, if my videos succeed or fail, it's always going to be on me. That's always what I want. Why did I start talking about this? <laughs> I don't remember where I was going with that tangent. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just think criticizing One Piece is something that I can't handle. I'm too biased about it. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to dive into it because it's a sensitive hot topic, but I think Amazon Lily kind of, Lily kind for me makes up for it. Like Amazon Lily having like women of all kinds of different sizes and proportions. Uh, I love One Piece to death. And I want to keep it that way. There's a lot of things that could be different or better about One Piece. But at the end of the day, nothing I do will ever change that. And, you know, I'm fine with that. I respect that he writes his story that way. I can't agree with you on that, Spide. I love One Piece's art style. But if you're going off of the anime, then I'll agree with you. Because the anime is poorly adapted. How does Frankie see? It's got eye holes. See, at the very top. I mean, they're buttons. But listen, don't question it. His head's in the neck anyway. It's not even where the head is. How does his fucking... Oh, no. There are eye holes in this one. Never mind. No. I don't know why I thought you started Azora Magdro's quest for a hot sec. <laughs> One Piece also has a lot of different art styles. <laughs> His art styles change a lot over the years. When he first started out, he was basically ripping off a of Dragon Ball. And then there was the Big Forehead era. Those, 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 were in, those were interesting times. Nowadays, he's got a very sketchy art style. I really like his current art style. I think it fits like the tone shift of the story. I've tried to read Naruto like eight times. I can never get very far into it.
Bleach frustrates me because it had so much potential. Just kind of, it just kind of wasted it. I feel like. I watched Naruto at two times speed. <laughs> Kubo is an incredible artist. I, I really love the way that he utilizes panels in his manga. Um, it's got a very, like, modern look to it. Uh, and his characters are downright gorgeous. <laughs> They're all so goddamn pretty. That's something I dislike about him, though. He doesn't make ugly characters. They're all pretty. But um, uh, Kentaro Miyuta absolutely has my favorite art style in manga, without a doubt. You just, oh, Berserk is so fucking good. Oh, it's so fucking pretty. That's why you just do what Oda does and don't listen to, to editors. <laughs> editors. Editors are afraid of Oda. <laughs> Most editors who start with him are like afraid of working with him. Because they know he doesn't really take shit from them. <laughs> There's a bit of a problem in the in the manga history with editors in general. Like editors are important to like, you know, get a different perspective on certain things. But sometimes they can be way too controlling, especially with early series. I mean shit like the 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 the, the cell saga of Dragon Ball was just like ripped apart and like remade by the, by the editors. Like I don't know if you guys know the story of like the cell saga, but like, you know, there's there's the part at the beginning of the cell saga where like they have um, fucking what's his name? Dr. Jiro as a cyborg as the enemy and the editor was basically like how are people gonna be afraid of an old man as, an, as, as a villain? Make a new one! So he made Android 17 and 18 and they're like these kids are too cocky no one's gonna like them make a new one! And then they made and then he made Cell and they were like how are they gonna like a bug monster? Make a new one! And so he had him transform into the pretty pretty uh, average Dragon Ball villain kind of guy. I am really not a fan of fighting Ray J. <laughs> oh my god, manga artists like are so abused in terms of workload. There needs to be reforms in that industry. It is so bad. It's unbelievable. Oda sleeps like four hours a week. <laughs> always. Always. He constantly. Dragon Ball really isn't that good, but like, I just like that, the story of how that arc played out is just like, that's no good. You are right, for sure. The, 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 what is it called? Like the work-life relationship problems in Japan are severe. Severe. Oh, I'm gonna fucking die. Maybe not, maybe we're good. There's a Bleach movie that he planned to be a spot of focus and said they were like, nah, and the entire movie he wanted was gone. That's rough. I think the most frustrating thing that it comes to, like, with editors in, in, in the manga industry is that, like, a lot of them have, like, a vision of how they want a, an artist's story to go, and, like, the author has their own vision of how they want the story to go, and it, it creates this awkward issue where it's, like, you know, they're not allowed to do what they want to do to like set up things the way they want they s to set up because the editors don't think it's going the way that they want when it's like, this could be setting up something bigger. You know, not, not every part of the story needs to be a masterpiece to sell volumes. Like sometimes there has to be slower moments so that bigger moments can be set up later. I don't want to fight Devil Joe and Ray Jang right now. That's no good. There's a lot of, there's a, there's like a long history of mangas that basically got ruined by editors influence. And we'll, we'll never, we'll never really know what it could have been without the influence of those editors. 
It really can, because at the end of the day, like, Jump... Until you're a well-established series, Jump doesn't care about you setting up, like, a really incredible story. They care about volume... They care about magazine selling. So, you know, if there are those slower, rougher parts of the story that don't fit in with whatever, like... Uh, 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 you know, that... that if, there, if there are those slower, uh, like, less good parts of the story that are meant to... Uh, set up more meaningful parts of the story. They don't get the time to do that because it doesn't sell magazines Once you're more established you can have scenes like that because it's like, you know No one's gonna question what Oda does with One Piece anymore because he's their number one selling manga no matter what he does They're just gonna let it happen <laughs> But that's not the truth for a lot of artists That's not the case for a lot of newer series especially and it sucks The Fulbring arc in Bleach was something he wanted to make as a new thing, but just couldn't. That that makes sense, because it felt like a new direction. It felt like it was going to be a change, and then it just suddenly got brought back to what it was. Uh, Scorpion, I don't care about you fainting. The only reason I'm not fainting is because I'm playing super defensively because I'm afraid of Rage Aim. If we fail this hunt, I won't care. <laughs> It's also really frustrating to see, like, potentially... I just, I wish Shonen Jump took more stock of, like, how potentially good a story could be. They do. They do. But they don't, they don't, they don't value it enough, in my opinion. It got brought to what it was because people hated it. I mean, people don't like change, you know? Uh, and, it, you know, I don't know. I don't remember the full ring arc well enough to comment on it. But it could have been better later you know it could have gone in a new direction but people don't like change but like there's a lot of manga that i read that get canceled really early and it's super frustrating because you see they have so much potential phantom seer last year phantom seer i loved phantom seer i thought phantom seer was so good it was a mid-grade manga and yet these fucking me and robico shit undead unluck one of the worst things i've ever read is like 70 chapters deep and phantom seer got canceled at 30 like what is that what is that? Undead Unluck is fucking terrible. Why are they still publishing that? Well, okay, that she wasn't a great character, but like, <laughs> I don't remember full ring arc well enough to comment on it. I really don't. But I, I think that artists should get to do what they want. If they run their series into the ground doing so, that's they should have every right to do that. Editors should, should exist to be an influence on the artist without having control over them. Oh god, I'm gonna get punched. Oh, I can't believe I iframed that! I think is out of place and could have been a better chance at another thing entirely. That's a very fair point. Like, the, the problem with the full ring arc is, like, they did that thing where it's like, oh, he can't see the spirit world anymore. Every other character is off doing their own thing now, and all these new characters get brought in. It could have been a new series entirely and been fine. That probably would have been better. Definitely, like, mental drain is, like, a big issue for artists. I mean, shit, that's, like, Hunter X. That's why Hunter X Hunter goes on so many, like, multi-year hiatus. That's why uh, One Piece goes on, a, goes on a break week every three weeks now, because Oda's health is so bad that he can't release every week anymore. The author of My Hero Academia recently went on a, a week-long vacation due to health con issues. That's, like, the number one reason I see breaks happening. It's always because of health concerns. It's never, like, oh, he's just, you know, he's just on a vacation. It's always, like, yeah, we got health issues on the house, bro. Got to give the guy a week off. We always end up talking about some deep shit when I play Monster Hunter. What's up with this game? And it's 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 because I don't have to pay attention when I play. There's a lot more room for me to ruminate on my thoughts. Woo! And fight these bots, you know?
Okay, I'm getting eaten. Ow. Ow. Ow, please stop crushing me. Please stop crushing me, Ray Jane. I could probably just... Get out of here. That's stinky. Yeah, I mean, the, the manga industry has a lot of issues. You're not going to see me saying that's not true. <laughs> I mean, goddamn, like, creating a weekly chapter itself is too much. Shonen Jump really should, like, switch to a bi-weekly, like, model. It would be terrible for their business, but it would be so good for the industry. Or even, like, the, the monthly publications seem to have a handle on it pretty well. Like, you know, m monthly mangas don't tend to have, like, two super mini pages compared to weekly. Usually they're averaging like 30 to 40 pages compared to uh, 20 to 25. So like, you know, it's not that many more pages for a, like four times the amount of time. That could work too. Yeah, they could keep their weekly model and just have different manga in, in like two different versions that release on a bi-weekly schedule. I hadn't considered that. They could just like double their manga output and then give each artist more time to work on it. That would work fine. And then there'd be less competition within the pages for like series to get cut. Like there's <laughs> so many fucking series get cut. And a lot of them, the majority of them deserve it. You know, they're not good, but there are those gems. There are those gems that just people haven't taken notice of yet. And it's it's so frustrating to think what they could have been. God damn, Rage kind of thick though. Ooh! Yeah. I want to restock while I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm burning through these mega potions, my dude. Oh, I love manga so much. But it, it do kind of need to be better. They got to treat their fucking people right. I feel like we won't see reforms in that area for a very long time, if at all. It's it's like Japan's in this awkward situation where like their societal norms make it so like challenging the status quo is like a super disrespectful thing to do. It's like even even just starting a conversation about it is like super not OK. It's like you, you can't even talk about how it could potentially be better without being seen as like super disrespectful. There shouldn't be anything wrong with starting a conversation. It's super strange. It's it's super strange when you think about it cuz like it's like, it's all status quo shit. It's, it's like, it's all like old fucks in there. And like, you know, it'd be great to think that like maybe one day the younger people will take over and change things, but that seems unrealistic. Uh, even Amer even in America, I think that's kind of unrealistic. It's like when you get older, you have this mindset of like, oh, well I did it. So other people can too. And then you stop caring about reform. It's like, as much as I want to believe like people in America will enact reform when they get older, it, that doesn't mean they will. Cause they'll be sitting there like, well, I had to deal with it. They're also like unwilling to understand, like, you know, people, people who still these days are like, oh, well, I worked my way through college. People complain about student loans too much. Just, you just got to get a job. It's like, that's not accurate anymore. You can't, you can't even like, it costs more to go to school than it does to make a living. So you, you absolutely cannot like split your bills between the two. Woo! 
That was close. Should he get me ranting? I think like everybody who's been in college in the last 10 to 15 years has a rant involving student loans and costs. Because it's fucked. It's wrong. It's not good. It's terrible. It's 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 bringing down the educational prowess of a nation that is, you know, potentially the greatest intelligence hotspot in the world. Old people don't mean to mind their business, play bingo or something. They just, they gotta, they gotta chill out. Honestly, it's not cool. I for, I for my part don't think it should ever be like, you should never be punished for wanting to be educated. It's, the pursuit of knowledge should never be something that is kept from people. Trap. I'm into traps, yeah. Oh, uh, the mon if you want to, I don't care. <laughs> It's, just, it's, it's extra frustrating living in the United States and seeing how much they spend on military shit while actively being like, we just, we can't do free education. That's absurd. It's like, oh, but you can sink trillions of dollars into, into guns that when we're not even in a war state right now, that, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All right. Scorpion does have a palico. His name is Cassius. We looked at her earlier. She's wearing like the little... Little doll outfit. See that? I forget what monster this is. Or maybe it was... Maybe it was an event thing. So many countries can offer education for free or even give you money. Yeah. Cut military spending in half and we still outrank other... Exactly! It's so bad. It's so bad. Um, I think that... As tax-paying citizens, we should have a greater say in where our taxes go. And yeah, you can make the argument that we vote for what our taxes go to, but we all know that the electoral college is, broke, is broken, so that's not real. I think that like when you do your yearly taxes every year, you should be able to check boxes of like, here's where I want my taxes going. That's how you let the people decide. That's how you let the people decide. Because if I, if I could do that, none of my money would go towards military spending because I don't believe in it. And if enough people stop believing in military spending, the military wouldn't have money anymore. And all of it would go to all of it go, would go to education, wouldn't it? Doesn't that make sense? That's how you let the people choose. But that ain't real. <laughs> military spending is absurd. It, it's 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 so it's so out of control in our in, in the United States. Whether you believe in the military and their actions or not, it's still overblown, I feel. I don't believe in, like, war and whatnot, but I also understand that, like, we need an active military. We're a major world in the, in, 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 in the world. We're, we're a major power in the world. Sorry, is what I meant to say. We're a major power in the world. We need to have a defense system, but we're not at war. We don't need this much money going to military spending. <laughs> The military would just make more robocalls and manipulate advertising bother you into checking their boxes. But there are those woke individuals who wouldn't fall for it. And especially with the age of the internet, that information can spread qu quicker and easier to make people understand what choices they're making better. In World War II, it was easy to trick an entire nation of people that the Japanese were demons. It doesn't work like that today. It doesn't. Military is an industry and it's making a lot of money. I don't know why German, Germany manufactures so many weapons like stop. <laughs> I wish there was a quicker way to do Steamworks stuff. It takes so long. Scorpion, did you post something? I mean, it is a game, but it also isn't because you can just let it do its thing automatically. You just fill up this bar until it explodes and you get free items for doing it. There's really no reason behind it.
What, what, what the fuck are you out here posting about, huh? Are you posting cringe? GD? No, not post. I don't want to post. No, why is this CJ guy having trouble doing Zora Magdaros? I'm not, I'm not master rank 100 Scorpion. I'm 80, I'm at 85. You don't think the monsters are cute? Have you seen Palumu? Palumu's adorable. Frankie's had this uh, uh, this uh, Wiggler head on for a very long time. I'm actually kind of forgetting what his face looks like. I think he's pink. No, he's blue. I changed him to blue. That's right. He was pink when I started on Monster World PC, but I changed it to blue once I had been on it for a while. How do I, like, just take it off? There he is, my little man. Look at that handsome boy. Good old Frankie, am I right, folks? I kind of forgot that this armor is like a jacket that he wears. It's like a wrestler outfit where he, he's he got like a jacket. Oh, that looks so good. Uh, does anybody have any, any more lighthearted topics we could talk about? <laughs> Stop! Fuck off with the Zora Magdra shit, CJ! Fight Zora Magdra's by yourself, you big stinky. Big Boss PR. He does kind of look like Big Boss. <laughs> I don't mind Spide. I, I honestly don't. It's just one of those things where, like, after talking about it for a while, I start to be like, I want to talk about something else now. Thinking about how to move my shit um, to the other city. I'm thinking about that, too. I may or may not have applied for a job that is across the country from where I'm living right now. And I'm thinking about how to get everything together to potentially make that move if I get said job. And it's stressful. And it's scary. Always thinking about these nuts. <laughs> you tried to stop the penis talk. You cannot. Oh, he's not gonna get hit by that. Getting all your stuff across the continent must be expensive. It is. There is a potential that if I get the job, the country will pay for country. The company will pay for part of it. Best not be to Utah. I no, I would not move to Utah. I don't know anything about Utah. I just I just don't think there's anything there for me. I'm looking at Oregon. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, I didn't get hit, Pog! Now I'm gonna get hit. Nope, still not getting hit. I don't even know how I just mounted. I don't know if I'll get the job or not. It seems unlikely, and even if I do, like, I, they have to pay me enough to, like, be able to afford living out there. It's more expensive there than where I live now, so that's part of the stress. I want to live in Washington, but, like, their winters aren't great. I'm trying to, like, I, I live in Michigan right now. I, I've hated living here for a very long time because it's just too damn cold. And, like, Oregon still has winters, but, like, looking at, like, the average degrees. Like, you know, here in Michigan, the average temperature in, like, February is, like, 20 degrees. There, it's like 35. It doesn't drop below that much. I can live with that. You know, I'll still get to have seasons without being fucking frozen during the winter. Then you can finally travel out of the US. Yes, it'll be so much more, it'll be so much less expensive to try to travel to Japan from Oregon than from Michigan. I'd love to live in Seattle. Um. I would love to live in Seattle because of all the rain. I love rain so much. I A lot of people would rather be frozen. Um, and I hear the constant argument of like, oh, well, you can just put more layers on. Me, I can't stand being bundled up. I hate, 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 hate wearing layers. I like to be fucking naked as much as I can. Uh, and uh, the problem I have with heat versus cold is 
Heat is uncomfortable. Cold hurts. <laughs> it is actively painful to be to be cold. I don't I don't feel pain from being hot. Unless we're talking sunburn, but I don't have to worry about that because I don't go outside. Michigan gets too cold. It is regularly below 10 degrees here during the winter. I'm a summer person. It's the only season I feel alive. Maybe it's my Southeastern Asian DLC DNA. I don't know why I read that as DLC. <laughs> I wish I had some Southeast Asian DLC. Uh, winter has never worked for me. I think it was because I was born in Texas. My body just like didn't have that first year or two of cold and then I moved to the cold and it was like, what the fuck is this? I actually asked what summer haters hate about summer. Basically, it's sweat makes me uncomfortable. I don't understand it. Like, that's like, people don't like being hot. I get it. But like, how can you like being cold? How is that better? I'm not going to miss this, but... Never Lizzie makes going out anywhere like I'm being cooked. Oh, I'm not moving to the desert. Is Utah desert? Aren't there lakes out there? I don't know. So, I mean, it's called the land of the lakes, but maybe there's a big meme where there aren't actually any lakes there. I, I get... I get enjoying being, like, bundling up and snuggling up with the winter. I do. I really do. I enjoy it, too. I've said, like, if, if if I didn't have to go outside, I'd think winter was great because I'd just, you know, snuggle up with a cup of mug of hot cocoa and my cat on the couch and we'd watch the snowfall. It'd be great. But the unfortunate reality is I have to go outside and drive in it, and I don't like that. That's that's valid, Mike Rave. Deserts are different. Desert desert is like is like summer squared. It, it, like in, in my in my ideal world, in my ideal world, I'd love to some find somewhere that is seventy degrees and cloudy every day. That place doesn't exist. <laughs> it doesn't. But I'd love to find a place that's seventy degrees and cloudy every day. You know, nice and rainy a good amount of the time. I don't like sun. I don't like bright sunny days. I like it when it's cloudy. I like the mellow atmosphere. I like any other where I'm inside of a nice home. If I could just not go outside, I would love living where I live. I Honestly, it's a great city. I love the, the town that I live in. I just can't do the fucking cold, man. If I had to do another uh, if I had to do another winter in this state, I might just die. Oh. Uh. Uh-oh, someone got a part broken. Uh-oh, who was it? Was it you, Zenoga? There's an episode of that Bear Grill Survival Show. Dude picks up a dead seal. Shows how the seal stays warm in frigid temperatures with a thick layer of blutter. It's about a thin centimeter. That's fucking... Ugh. Ugh. Sounds so uncomfortable. All right, I, th I think I have the picture spied. <laughs> uh, I hate, like, I hate being bundled up. Whenever I have to pull out my winter jacket for the year, I'm just like, ah, I don't want to walk around in my winter jacket. I want to just wear long sleeve shirts and sweatshirts all the time. The ironic part too is like, even during the summer, like, I don't wear t-shirts or anything. I always, I like, I, I shocked my coworkers the other day. My 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 boss had a barbecue that I was invited to. Uh, and it was like a 90 degree day outside and I walked up in my black skinny jeans and a long sleeve shirt and they were like, what is wrong with you? You're going to fry. And I was like, you guys don't understand. You never see me outside of work. I dress like this all the time. It isn't a work exclusive thing. I don't, I don't own shorts. I'm such like a goth bitch that I always am like, you know, head to toe covered. But at the same time, I hate being bundled.
I guess I can understand that perspective, Spy. Me, I, 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 I weigh next to nothing and I never gain weight. So like, there's no protection for me during the cold. It just penetrates into my bones. I don't want to dismiss the comfort of being hot, but I do find it amusing because I'm just depressed in winter. I, seasonal depression hits me so fucking hard. Was your boss the one you complain about on the podcast? Com do I complain about him? I like my boss. He's a great guy. But I assume it's the same one. Unless you're talking about our old boss. In which case, if you're talking about the crazy old boss that Mike and I shared, then no. I'm talking about my boss from my current job. Really? 75 degrees is like the best temperature. I mean, I prefer, I prefer 70 degrees, but I don't, I, I don't know which bar, which boss we're talking about, Scorpion. Like, the barbecue was, 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 uh, 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 is the boss that I currently work for. The boss that we complained about the most was our old boss at World Market, who we haven't worked for for like three years. We complained about her a lot because she's a fucking nut job, but. Oh, shit. I don't think I complain about Danny much. Danny's a good guy. Danny's one of the, those bosses who's like, I understand there are rules, but sometimes they're, it's okay to break them. Summer seasonal depression? I can't understand that. How does that exist? Seasonal depression hits me hardest at the beginning of winter. These guys, Mike or even Scorpion can tell you, I'm sure. Pretty much every, like, January to February. January to February area, I'll have a, a two-week period where I won't stream at all because I'm just madly depressed. <laughs> it's like my hibernation period. Ow. Ow. I'm surprised you picked an a Zenogar, a Scorpion. I thought you were tired of fighting this guy. Yeah, limp out of here, big stinky. I personally, like, 70 and cloudy is, like, the ideal temperature for me. If I could just, like, freeze weather and have it be 70 degrees and cloudy everywhere I go, I would, I would do that in a second. That microwave, that's what I always say. I love fall because, like, you know, there's a chill in the air, Halloween happens, all the colors are beautiful, but I dislike fall because it's a reminder that winter is coming. <laughs> I, I'm always sitting there like, oh, this is nice right now, but it's coming. <laughs> I think it's because I spend the most time indoors and away from everything more so is in summer. And, and away from everything more so in summer. I still stay inside a lot, but like it's... I stay inside all the time anyway. It's just like exacerbated in winter. But the unfortunate reality is that my job doesn't allow me to stay inside all the time. That's why it's called fall, because you're falling into darkness. I like it. Literally, because soon all color will leave from the world. And the skies will be replaced with a non-stop gray. <laughs> I wish I worked at home. Guys, ha ha haven't we talked about making me a famous streamer yet? Why aren't you guys working on that more? You guys need to put in some serious hours on making me famous, honestly. I don't know where that comes from either. I think, like, Americans are pretty much the only ones that call it fall. But that's all I've ever called it, so... I don't get sunburned. I'm like immune to it. I don't know why. I've, I haven't gotten sunburned in many, many years. Even when I do go outside. Who's coming right now? Is that Rage? Uh, Anjana. Not Rage Ang. Andrew is really fucking with an ogre today. It's like the third time we've seen these two fight. I'll watch for longer, king of the streamer. <laughs> I don't need you to watch for longer. That doesn't do me any good. I have no respect for your views or, or, or time spent on my channel. 
I need you to find more viewers. Indoctrinate them. Guys, let's start a cult. Let's start a cult where, like, the only path to enlightenment is watching my streams. That'll work. That'll work. That'll get people watching. Fucking big brain. Holy shit. I can't make you famous. I want to hardly attention in chat. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of like sunny days, so that's my I, like my favorite time of the year is spring because during spring you get nice warm weather, a lot of cloudy rainy days. Summer it's like it's too sunny for my liking. I don't like to see the sun. I like to pretend it doesn't exist. It, it's not that hard to form a cult though, guys. Like, have you heard of some of the things they come up with? It's absurd. I, I, I heard about a cult, or I, I watched a video about a cult recently. This guy um, uh, uh, somehow convinced his whole family that uh, incest was the way to go so that he could create more versions of himself because uh, he was he was God. <laughs> and so he was recreating God by uh, having incestuous relationships with his own daughters. Um, and that was, that was a real thing until he got arrested. <laughs> If people believe that, then I'm, I'm sure I could come up with something to make people believe. Gaslight people who are down on their luck. That's how you form a cult. You you, you find vulnerable vulnerable people and you make them believe absurd shit because they just need something to believe in. This is some Chris Chan shit. <laughs> yeah, it do kind of be like that. You post now, I'm out of ideas. Fuck, what do you want me to do? My harvest box is full. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Lana. Lonely house lives with a lot of time on their hands are like good, great targets for, for cults. Fertilizer, I hardly know her. We as a cult could worship the image of a torture device, ask for 10% of your income, make people think when things go wrong, it wasn't God Max will. <laughs> so oh, what the fuck do I, what, what do I have that I haven't done? I, I, lots of stuff. What's this? Let's hunt a Bonmaro. That sounds like it'll be really hard. A Bonmaro in the Elder's Recess, let's go. Only housewives to fend off scammers, pyramid schemes, and cults. It's wild. <laughs> uh, there's so many people out there trying to take advantage of people. And I just want a slice of that pie. I think I have died for Frankie. More than once. And I'd do it again. I'd die for Luna. I would do anything to, to protect Luna. She's my she's my perfect girl. I would save her from any, everything. I love that cat with all my heart. Speaking of taking advantage of people, subscribe to my Twitch. I, I won't update my emotes or anything because I'm fucking lazy, but... Oh, you were going to say subscribe. <laughs> That's true, yeah. All, all subscriptions are discounted this month. Y'all got to subscribe. So I can get more emote slots to not put emotes into. Could call a spide. What would they write about me on Forbes? Could I could I be in the um in 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 No that doesn't make sense. Thirty under thirty is people who make money. <laughs> I could be in the uh the thirties down on their lux. I don't fucking know. 
Local streamer complains about politics and school funding while not while having dropped out years ago on stream. Oh, that's that's my that's my article. I should be in the 30 under 30 for having an extraordinarily cute cat. They just it doesn't have, it has nothing to do with money, but it doesn't matter. They just let me do it. I'm gonna miss all these attacks. Fuck it. <laughs> there was a. Uh, 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 I worked when I was in high school. I worked for a, a a summer camp for a number of years. One of the years that I worked there, we had a skit at the opening bonfire that uh, the 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 joke was that my hair was evil and was controlling my actions. <laughs> <laughs> so like we had a uh, we had one of my friends uh, go up into the sound booth and speak over the loudspeaker as my hair convincing me to do mean things like throw water on my friend Austin y'all y'all know Austin Austin's in chat pretty frequently uh, I threw like a, a glass of water in his face as part of the skit it culminated in me getting like a tub of water dumped on me in revenge switch weapons. I didn't mean to use sword and shield swung. I just was lazy and didn't switch. But whatever. Sword and shield is great for damage output. Despite the tiny size of this weapon, it is a, it is a, it is a powerhouse. It sounds like a fun skit. It was fun. Uh, uh, the scouts loved it. The scouts loved it. They, uh, throughout the, the whole week they were at camp, kept making jokes about it. It, it worked out like with the lore too because like the joke of the of the skit was like oh you know I, I I would keep my hair in a ponytail and under a hat like I would like I would do in my normal every every day and then my hair would become evil when I like took it out of its ponytail so like I would just keep my hat on all the time at camp and so like if they ever asked me if I, my hair was asking up I'd be like yeah but it's okay because I have it you know sealed up so to speak the scouts are yeah the, the scouts are the campers Why am I fucking- I keep gathering in the middle of hunts. My monkey brain is just like, ooh, mining outcrop. Doesn't matter if deadly monsters assaulting my friend. It was fun. It was a fun skit. We had, a, we had a lot of fun with our skits. Um, there's a lot of like skits in the Boy Scout world that get reused a lot. That like a lot of a lot of scouts and, and troop masters know. And they'll like just do with their own campfires. And then you go to a, a like a, a camp's camp ground and they do their own like fire ring ceremony. And a lot of them just copy those skits, which is kind of lazy and like excuse me, that was gross. And like the scouts have seen it before, so it's super boring to do. Our our camp made a goal of like creating skits from scratch. We were like we actively avoided anything that anybody had ever seen before to make sure that like whatever they were seeing was completely new which was really cool the hair tie was a powerful seal yeah, I, it, it, it did did anybody in here fuck with Ron, ranma one half <laughs> in ranma one half uh, uh ranma had a curse on his hair that made it grow infinitely. But he had a hair tie that would stop his hair from growing so he wouldn't go bald. That's a real thing. <laughs> from a manga, that is a very old manga. Only 90s kids will remember. Uh, the first time I saw a, a, a pair of titties was, was, in a, was in volume one of Ranma One Half. Why am I <laughs> I'm fucking gathering again? What is- I keep- I'm just- I'm so absent-minded when I play this game these days. It's just- I'm- my- my brain is on, on autopilot and just sees a bone pile and is like, Yep! Gotta go grabbing! 
Yeah, the worst part too is like my mom bought me that uh, that volume of Ranma one half and had no idea there was tits in it. And how would she? You know, it doesn't look like a book that would have boobs in it. What did I? Oh, I just got hit by a sleep dagger. Oh, it's okay. We killed the monster. I'm gonna be asleep for a hot sec. Oh no, I'm good. Never mind. Yeah, profanity filtered, Scorpion. I don't know what that says. First boobs were anime boobs. Seriously, I I I had never 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 thought about booba before. And all of a sudden, there they were. And I was like, Nani? Nandeska? <laughs> I gotta head out, but it was nice seeing it. Thanks for stopping by and sticking around for so long and talking about political shit. It was fun. I'll see you later, Spy. Good luck with that one boss. I hope you beat it someday. <laughs> Have a good night. I mean, is it any is it any wonder that I, I I talk about hentai constantly? The first time I saw boobs was in was in was it a manga? So that's not should be shocking. <laughs> Y'all go check out Spider if you haven't already. She makes she makes good stuff. Makes good funny meme. I upgraded my vitality mantle. That's what this respe respect. That's what this request was for. Poggers. I don't actually use my mantles ever anymore because I'm lazy. I think I just use. I think I just have the bandit mantle on anyway. These nuts. Recently saying these nuts with no context has just become a noise feeling th filling thing for me. And I'm really annoyed. I want to stop doing it. <laughs> oh my god. I, I did so many bounty. Oh. Is there an event going on right now? It seems like there's an event like every day lately. This looks like event shit. I don't know. Is there? No, it doesn't look like there's any events going on. These nuts are sort of an action sound. It's just like if I if, if there's dead air, I just fill it with these nuts. And actually, that's not really funny. But see, Scorpion, I have to watch TikToks to quote them. These nuts. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's dumb. I'm dumb. We all know that. Big stupid guy over here. Do I have any requests in here? I do. Oh, I completed that. What about in here? Temperado Garon. Sure, why not? This is the one that's below ground, I believe. I'm going to switch it up and choose a different weapon. What weapon will I choose? Who knows? What do I got down here? I don't want to fight an Odegaron with a with a great sword. That sounds painful. Do I have any decent hammers? Do I not have any decent hammers? Ah, eh, that one's fine. I already ate. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. This might be my last hunt. Sorry to stream so late again, by the way. Um, again, I got home and I was like, I don't want to play any video games, but I really want to live stream. And then I sat on it for a couple hours and then I decided to stream Monster Hunter. So <laughs> I got to find another game to get addicted to. I just got, I got to start some, I got to start some game. I got a whole, whole laundry list of games I could start to play, but I just haven't. I was going to say the same thing. Well, then that works out just fine. But to my, the worst part too is like, I'm super addicted to these fucking Souls like games, so like I want to just like play more Bloodborne. I want to like play Bloodborne on stream, but I I, I also don't want to rush through it, so I want to keep it to its like one time a week. But 
I could have just played more Bloodborne. It worked out. I was napping before you streamed. Perfect. Toho Luna. Is that... Isn't there a game called that? I, I assume you're referencing the music, but isn't there a game called that? Toho Luna Nights? I think that's what the game is called. I, when you said night, I thought of like, oh, that's what we're going to do for the night, but I don't think that's what you meant anymore. Time to beat up a dog. I gotta remember how to do the. It's yeah, that that's what that's what it is. Okay, got it. I didn't mean to do the. Well, that worked out just fine. He got stunned. I I didn't mean to do the full swing. I meant to do the the quick swing, so I could do one of these, and then latch onto him. Boo 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 boo! Big stinky guy. Boo boo boo! Ah, that hurt. I'm bleeding now. At least I knocked him over. That works out fine. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Can you do a tour of your figures that you put together so far? I could do that. That'd be fun. I'd, I'd, it'd be interesting to talk about the process that went into making each of them. Whether or not I actually think they're good kits. You know what? I, I will make you this promise, Microwave. If uh, if I... And this isn't to say that I won't do it if I don't, but this will just be convenient if I do. If I end up getting this job and end up moving to Oregon, then I will I will do that stream while I pack them away to be moved. Because that'll be like a really convenient time to like look through all of them. Also, if I end up moving cross country, um, cross country moving vlog video will absolutely be a thing. I've already got lots of ways, lots of ideas of how I'd like to do that. I personally really enjoy watching like road trip videos, so I have ideas of how I could format it. It wouldn't be a main channel thing since it's not like an essay style thing. It'd be it'd go on a second channel, but I know you guys would love it. True through all all kinds of your stuff. You have a lot of cool stuff. I have a lot of I have a lot of hobby shit <laughs> i'm a collector uh and and not necessarily in a good way because i just i collect too much shit that i don't really need i also have a bad habit of like keeping old shit that i don't need anymore Oh, wow, I just finished healing. You're going to hit me with that again? Oh, you're on dick move. Yeah, I bet you didn't like that, big stinky. It would be a really interesting uh, vlog in terms of um, moving, since it'd be cross-country. There'd be so much shit to see. So I think that'd be a really fun video. I wonder if my flatmate likes anime. You probably should have asked before you moved in with them. Because they're going to think you're watching hentai if you just start watching anime. <laughs> Too much of anime sounds like sex scenes. <laughs> All the grunting during fights and shit. It, it doesn't sound like you're watching a fight. <laughs> I haven't seen any merch in pictures of the apartment. Merch of what? Like, my own merch or like merch of stuff that I like. I don't. I don't tend to buy stuff like that too much. 
this this is definitely like a personal taste thing, and I'm not knocking anybody who buys it, but I, I think it can look a bit tacky. Like I don't I don't I don't really like like anime posters or anything like that. I, don't, I just don't like the look of them. I'm also like I'm 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 very like into interior design, so I try to choose things that like just just aren't like posters and stuff. Oh, your flatmate didn't have a lot of merch. I see. So it's hard to tell what they like. Got it. I thought you were talking about my apartment. See, the problem... I don't like the... Like, there's a lot of merch in general that I don't like the look of. Like, there's... I feel like there's kind of a right and wrong way to do merch. You know who does really good merch? Um, YouTuber named Eddie Burback. Eddie Burback kind of has this approach to merch where he wants his merch to be like a clothing line rather than be merch so when you look at his merch it doesn't immediately look like merch it just looks like about like some clothes you could find somewhere but like inside that merch is like references to his work so i really i really like his stuff because like you could just buy it as just a regular shirt and, and be like yeah this is cool and you would never even know that's one of his, that's like it's, it's specifically merch from him if I if I can ever do merch more seriously than I do now, I'd want I'd want to do that kind of approach. That's also like the kind of approach I went with with my own merch. Like when I made the Captain Mac, uh, like vaporwave Japanese logo, I wanted it intentionally to not look like it definitely pertained to me and would just look cool on its own. I just, I just, I want merch that is merch, but is also just cool clothes. You got some cool merch? I have like that one really cool design. <laughs> I mean, my flag looks good on merch, but it's it's one of those things where it's still a bit too obvious as merch for like, I probably wouldn't buy it personally, uh, to be honest with you. But I also understand that, you know, if you're gonna have a logo like that, people are gonna want it. But you know, I, I'd love, I'd love if my, if my channel ever took off enough, I'd love to have like, you know, merch that like, I get designed by professionals that looks really cool that I can package myself and send out from my, like, my, myself. I'd love to, like, ha do my own merch uh, program. Like, I, uh, 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 instead of what I do now, which is, you know, having a printer make them to order, I'd rather have them, like, printed and in storage and I just package them and send them out myself. But that's such an expensive thing to do that it's, like, one of those things that, like, I would never be able to do without, like, a thousand subscribers. Or, sorry, without one million subscribers and I don't, I really... Really doubt I'll ever be that at that point. I gotta like get to hundred thousand before I even can can think of that kind of thing. I want more cute stuff that is not pink. Pink's my favorite color, but I also like yellow and blues. There's a lot of like, cute blue stuff I feel like, especially like sky blue or like teal. I guess teal isn't really blue, but. He didn't stay where I wanted him to stay. That's frustrating. I didn't mean to do the big bang attack. I did the wrong attack. Oh, got him with the head slam. Love it. Uh, there's so much stuff I'd like to do if my channel ever takes off, but like... <laughs> Even with how well my channel is performing right now, it's still highly, highly unlikely that it will ever be anything more than it is. But God, I would, I, I would do so much cool shit if I had the power to, or the financial freedom to. I'm not like I'm so, I'm so not worried about money. Like it, 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 if my channel started making a bunch of money, so much of it would go back into the channel. So much. I would do so much cool shit with that. I wish I had more money to do cool shit. I wish I had enough money to buy a fucking switcher. <laughs> you are right. Growth is exponential. And like, I've got 
with my channel right now, um, what's the word? Some momentum, some momentum. But the problem with my channel is that I upload once every three months and sometimes I don't even do that. So it's extremely hard to grow with how infrequently I upload. But I don't think it's a coincidence that like my Berserk video blew up so close to my Godzilla video blowing up. You know, the fact that my Godzilla video blew up gave my other videos enough momentum for the Berserk video to blow up. I think that's definitely true. The number that I've heard from a lot of like professional YouTubers is like 50,000. If you can pass the 50,000 mark and still keep that momentum going, that's when you can like start to feel like it's possible to make a living off of things. So that's that's the goal at this point. Like let's let's get that 50,000. I'm only I'm only uh 48.5 away, you know? Once you have a thick portfolio of videos, maybe they will they will push each other up. You're right. You're definitely right. And that's the goal, but I wish I, I'm trying right now. I'm trying right now to figure out a better system to ensure that I can get videos out in a shorter period of time. You know, I've talked before that like, I can't force videos because if I'm not feeling passionate about them, then they're not going to be good. But I think also a huge issue with it is that like, I struggle to like, I don't know why you just gave me that, but thank you, friend. I struggle to, like, get a video off the ground. Like, the, 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 the longest part of the video process for me is not, like, the filming and editing. It is script writing. I am... It takes me so long to write a script. Uh, I remember, like... I, I don't know if I talked about it on the podcast, like, but, like, but, like I had the, the idea for the Berserk video almost two months before it actually came out. Or no, almost two months before I finalized the script for it. It took me so long to write a script for it. And I knew it was going to be a good video, but I just couldn't figure out how to write it. I couldn't. And I'm having the same issue with my current video. I know it's a good idea. I know it can be a great video, but I just can't figure out how to write it. And like part of that is that I don't like sit down and write it properly. And so I did. I did a few days ago. I like sat down and just wrote. I started writing like crazy. Wrote down all my ideas. Wrote down how I want them to go. All that. I wrote three pages of shit and I have a much more solid idea of what, what the video is going to be now, which has helped a ton. But it's still not to a point where I can film it. It's still not solid enough for that. I just, I got to find a way to expedite that process. Because if I could, theoretically speaking, I could get a video out every one to two months. But right now it's so slow because it takes me so long to write scripts. Become the Drew Gooden of essay videos where you click one and only get Drew Gooden. I, I refuse to watch his videos because I don't want to get recommended more of his videos. I like Drew Gooden. I think he's funny. But I don't want to watch his videos all the fucking time. <laughs> uh, I, that's like my goal. That's my goal with my videos. Like I, I need to like solidify my script process so everything else can go more smoothly. Everything else can go so much more smoothly because I have so many ideas. I have so many ideas that can be good. I have that. I have the Dark Souls video idea. I have the video about uh, 2D versus 3D animation. I have the video about Berserk. I have so many video ideas. I do. But I just can't solidify any of them. <laughs> it's so frustrating. It is. Uh. But right now, right now what I want to do, right now what the ideal thing looks like, I want to... Make the Berserk video that I'm currently planning, which I think will do well, considering that a lot of people who have subscribed recently are Berserk viewers. After that, I want to write, properly write that video I've talked about a thousand times about 2D versus 3D animation because, because the Berserk community got done dirty by 3D animation. So I feel like those people would click on that too. And then after that, after that, theoretically speaking, it would be, I would be able to write, be able to do my Dark Souls video because at that point I imagine I'll be done with my Zen through series and you know the Dark Souls and FromSoft community are very very intertwined with the Berserk community so like if I can get those three videos all done in that line that's a lot of like people returning to my channel and potential momentum but who knows if it'll go that way because the, the issue is my passion if I like lose interest in a project I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna force that I'm not because we all know what happens if I do it doesn't look it doesn't look good it doesn't look pretty but yeah, that's the most frustrating thing about things right now. Like, <laughs> you know, for years I made daily and weekly videos. For years I made daily and weekly, weekly videos. I made non-stop non content and my channel didn't get any traction. 
Uh, and if it had, like, I would have still been pumping out content and it would have been great. But like, now I actually have some momentum and I'm not pumping out content because I don't want to force it, which I'm not, I wouldn't want things to be any other way than they are right now. I'm glad that my videos are taking off in their current state, but it's just frustrating knowing that I can't pump it out the way I could before. It, it really is. Sounds like a good roadmap. I think it could be really good. I feel like those, that set of videos could potentially all pull viewers together really well. My followers can smell when I make art for clout and these posts tank without fail. Oh man. So I definitely support being confident into your work for your work. It's just for me, it's just, it's just the script stuff. I'm not good at writing scripts. I'm not good at planning videos. I never have been. I never, never have been. I've never been good at like sitting down. Like when I was in, when I was in video classes in high school, my teacher always wanted me to do storyboards. He always wanted me to do storyboards for my news packages. Like these, like show me what shots you're going to get. I fucking hated doing storyboards. I fucking hated it. And then like, I'm at this awkward situation with my videos where like, if I script them too much, they sound robotic. So I can't have that. I can't script them too much, but I need them to be scripted enough that I can like properly express my ideas. So when I wrote my Berserk video, I wrote the entire fucking script in my head and I just repeated it. I just memorized all of it in my head and it worked perfectly. And I need to do that again, but it takes so long to formulate a script like that. And it's so frustrating, but they turn out better. They turn out so much better when I do that. They do. Uh, I bet there's a way that works for you. That's the thing. I just got to find a workflow that works better than what I have now. Uh, anyway, thank you guys uh, for joining another Captain Mac live stream. This was a fun one, as always. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll be, streaming, I'll be streaming Bloodborne. Gonna go through the Old Hunters DLC. Pretty excited about that. Always love some Bloodborne. I, 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 at this point, I can't make any promises because I've, really, I've been really bad about my promises, but hopefully... Hopefully we can be on to a more regular schedule after this and I'll find some game to play that'll actually keep me hooked and I can play some more. I'll, I'll stream on Friday and Saturday too. Hopefully. No promises because I've been I've been shitty about that lately. But yeah, just know I'm always working on a video. I, I, I don't have to tell you guys. I'm always working on something. Even if it even if it takes a really long time for something to come out. I am always working on something. And I wanna I wanna I wanna show you guys stuff. I wanna I wanna get that stuff out into your hands, but I can't. I can't force it. Luna is asleep. Her eyes are shut. I think I'm going to go join her. So thanks for watching, guys. Oh, I think the, the stream just tanked a little bit anyway. So perfect timing. My internet isn't a pro is not supporting this streaming bullshit. So hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, and I'm going to go reset my internet, I guess. <laughs> so have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.